we're right back into Premier League football. And speaking of right back, Chelsea were out there now for at least a couple of months with Reese James being injured. But they did pick up a 2 0 lead or a 2 0 win versus Bournemouth. Man United negatively impacted the climate as they tore apart the Forest 3 0. The Gunners are still firing 3 1 against West Ham. And the less said about the Championship or Watford for that matter, for the better. So let's go straight on to Chelsea. Amir, take it away. Um, yeah, um, I wasn't looking forward to Chelsea being back because of obviously how crap we were prior to the World Cup and I enjoyed the World Cup, you know, Chelsea. But we won 2 0 yesterday in the first half with very good, very good fluid football. Um, with Rhys James, you can see the impact, how much of a different team we are with him in the team. So, obviously, him being out for about three to four weeks now is an absolute killer blow. And I think we need a, a right back, um, replacement not as a replacement as such but as a cover for Reese James because Aspilicu doesn't have legs for it but um but ha- Kaivert's played very well very good in the number nine um his um play was good Mason Mount scored did very well obviously more consistent level from these two players before I can praise them every other game but um but it was all right I think in the second half we obviously did uh, decline um I think a better side would have obviously scored a goal against us and probably would have come back to two two but Positives in the first half and um, Reese James being out, obviously. Trust the process again. I've got a question. I've got a question. When's yeah, Chilwell back? Away. I don't know. No idea. Kukurea played well, so hopefully his career can kick start at Chelsea. But I have no idea when Chilwell's back. But you can see how um, how much Potter's like in like a disadvantage to everyone else with all these players out by uh, the way. Waffle fucking out. So, Here we um, go. How is Jesus. that Waffle? How is it Waffle, Elliot? Because all of, why, why is it all of a sudden he's at a disadvantage? Like he's, in, he's in control of Chelsea Football Club. Why because is that a disadvantage? Because we have the best right, 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 best right back in the league. The best right back in the league doesn't play it. Or hasn't played at That's all. That's it. One of the better left backs what do you mean? Listen, our wing backs are integral to our system. Chilwell not playing is a big loss. We got Kukurella. He hasn't been here all season. Oh, okay. Kante hasn't been here all season. Kovacic hasn't been here. Oh, okay. Well, we're going to disregard Kante now. Rhys James, the best right back in the bloody league, hasn't been here, and he come back and gets injured after half time. I would Look say he's the, the best cards right back. Look at the cards dealt with. Fafana's been out as well. He's the best. Who's better than him? Are you going to say Ben White? Because you're going to make me puke in a second. Benny Blanco. <laughs> exactly. You're not going to say, it, are you? Amir, what are your thoughts on uh, Jorginho leaving? Would you be happy with that? Yeah, goodbye, Jorginho. That hasn't, hasn't really convinced oh, me in the club. Oh, my God. Wow. <laughs> That's a I heard club Enzo, legend. I heard Enzo Fernandez. I heard Enzo, Enzo Fernandez. He's, he's a classic a Chelsea, legend, Chelsea fan, isn't it? Any yeah, player that gets Enzo a little Fernandez. bit of a rise, they automatically just buy and go, yeah, replace, well, replace. Spend, 100 mil on this, 100 mil thing. on that. You think it's smart spending 100 yeah, that, million that, on that, Enzo? That's what, that's what big clubs do. Well, you're not really big at the moment. Of course it's Well, you spend 100 million just like that on a player who had a good two months. If we've got the money for it, why not? If we've got the money for it, why if, not? Enzo Fernandez is a young young player of the tournament. What do you mean if? We do have more money than you. You're barely spending 20 million. I don't care if you have more money than me. That's, that's not like a flex, Amir. Well, it, it is a flex because we've been more successful than you in the past 10, 15 years than you where have been you to us. So, where are you know? one good half season. I'm talking about the present. Like Where's your you loyalty to Jorginho? Jorginho? Your Champions League winning midfielder. Why would I be loyal to Jorginho? Jorginho tried to force a move in the summer. He doesn't want yeah. to be at this club. He's... Who, yeah, no one wants to be at that club. No offense. Say to a player like that goodbye. What's the issue? No one yeah. wants to be at Chelsea. Okay, right. Here we go. Yeah. Biggest club in London. No one wants to be there, apparently. <laughs> Biggest club in London. Well fine. What well, about fine. your new signing? You signed someone Nothing today. To him, Forget his name. Some young striker. That was a father, was it not? So we, we signed a youngster. We, we, yeah, yeah. A young striker. We, I guess we're buying players for the future as well. Very smart, obviously. The Aston Villa fella coming in. We've got the player from uh, to Villa Milan Villa. who's in our... Um, under 23s as well. What does that mean? Change shit again. This guy um, um, you signed, is he going to play a uh, part, do you think, or...? Just I have no playing. idea, Shivers. I'm not going to act like I know who the guy is, but I'm just I'm I'm more thrilled with the fact that we've signed more players, number nine, etc. But um, it's a process right now, and um, based on yesterday's game, I'm a bit more positive than what we've been because we would have lost four on the trot if we lost to Bournemouth, and it would have been quite embarrassing. Uh, all right. Any anything else? Because we're gonna probably gonna move on to United. I um, anything else? Yeah. Um, I guess. 
the main thing right now is a bit of consistency. So I just hope we can just carry on being a bit more consistent, getting wins just despite not playing well. But but yeah, it's going. Who okay. have you got next? I need consistency. Um, I think it's Forest and then City. I think I can't remember off the top of my head. I've really been. You've got to see it a couple also... of times in like the space of three days. League. Would you say that was an enjoyable watch the last game? No, obviously not. When am I going to enjoy my team losing? Which, which dumb no, 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 like, I like, did. The first half game. was absolutely brilliant. Yeah, I was on the edge of my seat the first half. Oh, okay. The fluid okay. football, Pulisic was doing well. Um, Raheem Sterling was playing well. Of course, the second half, not so much, but it's because of the Reese James um, going off. He's the best mm. right back in the league and you see how integral he is to our system. And it's a big blow for Potter and us again. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. Yeah. Commiserations. Yeah. <laughs> 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 We uh we won three 0 against Forest. Forest were poor. We should have won more by more, but I'm not going to sit here and complain after winning three 0 Um, Casemiro, brilliant. Uh, he was just a level above Varane, the first player back after the World Cup final to play amongst the players that played in that game. Good to see. Um, it was really nice to see Luke Shaw playing centre back. Uh, because he filled in really well. Um, so yeah, positives all around. Rashford, he looks like the main man at the moment. Um, I don't know if he'll carry on his form though because we've seen. Rashford and Martial, they've had good periods and bad periods. They're never consistent, so this might be finally, we're hopeful, this might be it. But um, aside from that, uh, we got Gafco stolen off us by Liverpool randomly one day when he was pretty much our player, uh, which is kind of annoying. But I guess stolen we are looking... or just or just hesitant? Yeah, both hesitant, because we, we just didn't do the final part, right? He wanted to come to us, we wanted him, but we just didn't bid. Uh, thinking that nothing would happen. Um, I do think, however, that we are looking for an out-and-out out nine. We have all these players that can play makeshift striker, but we don't have that centre-forward. So I, I don't know who's available, but if that's the case, then I'm fine with him going to Liverpool. Are you sure? Are you're you fine sure? Because I'm yeah, fine with sure? I thought I saw no, him. He's not a I'm striker. not fine with him. As you, as you touched but he's on, a fantastic player and he's very player, true. I'm very, saw. very disgusted. Well, remember what happened last time. They got Nunes and that was a big miss for us and look what happened there. So, I reckon he'll come good. Unpopular opinion. I reckon Nunes will come good. He, he's, he's doing the right stuff. I like Nunes, but um, I just don't think yeah. he's got that gene in him that we need. Like, It's great he to have a player like that. that no, yeah, but he doesn't finish chances and right now we need players that are clinical and what we part. lack in that department. I thought I saw him. Of him Again, right. he's makeshift, but he's not an out and out yeah, striker. Yeah. But I guess he's a body. Again, one thing I would say is Ten Hag hasn't missed yet it's with his transfers. Option. Everything he's got so far, you can't say he's failed at any transfer right now. Every player is going to stay and they've done well. Yeah, so but has he signed him. Casemiro? Has he signed Casemiro? That's hard to miss with a world class defensive midfielder, isn't it? Well, yeah, but still. People said that no. was too much money and he's fulfilled that. I think he's perfect. 70 million is worth it in the end. So. There you go. And Anthony, I don't think Anthony's Absolutely. a miss. Anthony had a yeah, shocker. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he was just poor. But again, he needs to sort himself out. Probably needs to go to uh, Holland like Sancho. No, I'm joking. He doesn't. But um, <laughs> like, it's just one of them. It'll take time to develop. Like, if you remember Casemiro when he came in, he was a shambles the first few games. And that's someone who's won five Champions League. So obviously it takes time to settle in. And some of these players will take some time. I have a question. Um, you bring up a player I really wanted to ask you about, uh, Jaden Sancho. What was your like assessment of him? Like, do you think he will come good? Because um, oh, I think a lot of people are going to apologise. That... There's what so much disrespect. Do? There's so much disrespect on Sancho. I think what they're doing with him is a bit of a hail mary. They've completely removed him from the squad, and they've said you need to sort yourself out because he doesn't look like the player he was that we signed, and he's got everything supporting him in terms of Ten Hag. So when he comes back, I'm expecting the old Sancho. And I think he will prove people wrong because he's technically a great player. That's not gone. It's just looks. It looks like he's lost a yard of pace. He's not mentally there. So all of that hopefully will get sorted with this break he's had. If not, then he's finished. But I don't. I doubt that. I don't. I doubt that a player that good can just suddenly go away like that. So you lot will but be. Do you think that's the league attack? So. Nah, not with him because his technical ability. No, is I like Sancho. There. Do you think? Like it was natural. Fair enough. So. No, I hope he does come. 
Um, shall I? Oh, I was, I've got nothing to say about Watford. How are we gonna how are we gonna play Mill twice in a month and, and, and concede five goals? Because you're a shocking club. I don't know why anyone goes to watch your team anymore. Like it's nothing to do with your manager anymore. It's the players who are absolutely the, dog shit for you. They are thing to horrible. Say. I've no, but uh, but I've got nothing to say because everything I've said before is now ringing true. You could give our squad to Ten Hag, you could give it to Arteta. You yeah, your your Arteta, squad is terrible. Mourinho, man. Pep. You could give it to Sam. You gave it to Roy Hodgson. You've, you've both ends of the spectrum, and he'd done nothing with it. Like no one wants to just... play for Watford Football Club for some reason. There seems to be like a no morality in that squad. There seems to be no anything no, in I, that I, squad. I, like, I, just, I, I get. I get we're a check. stepping stone because we're not a big club. It, like if players like you look at our recent history, like Sars going to come and go, then Afei is going to come and go or has gone. Uh, Pereira, Pedro's going to go. It, it, like we can accept that we sign players, we improve them, like Richarlison, for example, sign for a little, little small amount of money, improve him, play him for a season or two, sell him on for the profit, and 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 we're not happy to do that, but we sort of acknowledge that. But it's it's performances like 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 the Millwall game. It's it's poor game management. It's players sometimes just rock up and think. I'm big. I'm bigger yeah, than the club. We were we were a Premier League. We didn't play like it, but we were. No, but a they Premier think League that. No, no, no. That's what yeah, they that's think. what I'm saying. But they they would go. Oh, well, we we should be able to. Like a couple of weeks ago, we lost to Coventry. Like a few weeks before before the World Cup, we lost to Blackpool three one. They'd scored three home goals all season and hadn't won a game there. Like we. Uh, it's, yeah. tough being, it's tough yeah. being a Watford fan at this moment in time because I know maybe you say well, uh, like like two, three years ago when you were like, as as you say, in the Premier League, like it was actually quite interesting to watch. Even when you were in the Championship, like maybe a couple of seasons before that as well, when you were rising up to the Premier League again, it was quite interesting to watch because it was like a battle between you and Norwich going first. It's, um, um, it's, but it's, then it's all of a sudden you dropped off. It's a, like people have said to me, oh yeah, but, or, or just people generally on Twitter and stuff, you're like, you're third, you're fourth, like you're, you're doing well and you're like, no. You're not like well, we're not. Sorry, it's it's a case of there's twenty other teams in the league that are playing worse than us or worse than us, as it stands. But it's, we've also got to be careful because we've got Swansea and Norwich as our next two, and then I saw a thing. It was I think Reading in fifth or Norwich in fifth now after the, after the game yesterday, and sixteenth. There's three points. There's a three point gap between fifth and sixteenth in the league. Yeah. Which is a ridiculous championship best league in the world. I'm gonna say it again, but no, it's not. It's not best league in the world. I just say that it, to make okay. me feel better. Most entertaining. Just Most entertaining. League. Closest. Three points between. It's more entertaining. Yeah. I'm always entertained in the Premier League every week, so it's just not. It's the closest. It's, it's not the most entertaining. It's the closest. It's on the edge of your seat, not in the second. <laughs> no, no. I mean, it's never on the edge of your seat for Chelsea. <laughs> But yeah, I said I no, was it's... early. You obviously got a short term memory loss, haven't you? <laughs> said not, not <laughs> but, um, <laughs> but yeah. No, it's uh, I, I wish I was on the edge of my seat on the on Boxing Day because it would have been easier to get out and leave. But no, uh, on to I was on to Arsenal, really, from from mediocre, mediocrity in the championship to top of the table. Superiority in the Premier League, how about that? Because that was quality. In my opinion, we don't even deserve to be 1-0 down in the first place against West Ham. They were absolutely terrible against us in the first half. In my opinion, anyone can disagree. They can go argue with the wall. I don't care what they say. We were playing sublime football in that first half. For some reason, we got a dodgy penalty. Soft or not, whatever. If you want to go by the rule book, it's a penalty. Okay, whatever. But they did not deserve that goal because then in the second half, we came out when we are. We're not losing this. Fuck this. They just went steaming out. Three goals. Saka. Martinelli, and then a beautiful Brazilian, gorgeous turn from the main man in Ketia, who realistically, like no, none of us, I'm going to put out there, none of us, none of us Arsenal fans had much faith in Ketia because obviously Gabriel Jesus is the main man at number nine for us up front. So obviously we were thinking, you know, when Ketia plays in the Europa League sometimes, or even games before that, when he's needed to step up, he hasn't really done so. He's been like, like even in like the like little friendly games in the in between the World Cup, he hasn't really been like converting a lot so we were a bit scared of him going up front for us against West Ham for our first game back but you know he's proved us wrong he's done well he had a great performance against West Ham my, I tip my hat off to him you know completely proved me wrong did he, he know? A, was he great though he did a job and he got his goal that's what you want from your number nine at the end of the I'm day I'm sorry but was he great yeah he was good I don't think he was great I think of a case of if you look at him uh-huh. like the, the movement 
but and the fact that he's a striker and he scored a goal. That's his job. That's his you job. Drop a, yeah. You could drop you could drop a one out of ten, but if you're a striker and you score a goal and you Okay, so wins. the goal mask is overall performance because he was absolutely Yeah, but you're you're acting like he didn't make a goal. He did. I'm not, I'm not I'm not even if he does drop a stinker, I'm not I, I disagree with He did he drop a stinker to the goal. Well, I don't know what you watch. No, but just yeah. gen- gen- say that about Jesus the opposite. Jesus plays brilliantly but doesn't get a goal or assist, and then it's like, oh, he's not got a goal or assist. Yeah, but no one can. Yeah, but you see how no Arsenal fan yeah, actually cares if he scores. Like, that's, that's because none he of plays us actually call. Cool. Yeah, because yeah. he is quality for us. It doesn't matter if he converts or not, because we still got Martinelli, Odegaard, and Saka who can still convert because he actually gets us in those right areas to kind of attack and go against them, mm. go against their way of play. So then we can just switch it, bang goal, sweet as enough. He plays almost like a like a false nine, doesn't he? Or like a like a number ten almost, as like a centre like forward, out, like a centre like a, like, yeah. like the wingers are here and he just plays just here, just behind, like in front yeah. of Odegaard. But like look, look, I'm not as I said, I'm not doubting Eddie and Ketty. Like he got his goal, he done a nice little juicy turn. Uh, as I said, like. It, I can't fault him. There wasn't like any errors that he made. Like there wasn't like Nunes, for example, against Liverpool. He, he had a shocker. He could have had about, about six or seven goals, but he didn't. Whereas Inketi didn't really get much provided to him on a plate. Um, <clears throat> but uh, look, let's focus in on the uh, upside of this. You know, we played as we did before the World Cup. It's, we haven't dropped off. Like everyone's proposing that we did after the World Cup. I was thinking, oh, we're, uh, we're going to become like shit after the World Cup. No, I don't know if any of you have watched that game. We were quality. Our terrible full in full swing again. Mm. Partey and Xhaka running that midfield, you know, Tini at left back, I'm loving to see, you know, Ben White, uh, Ben White obviously had a bit of a, like a, a weird kind of turn at Qatar, obviously everyone's thinking, oh, is he going to perform against Arsenal? Look what he did, he absolutely ruined that right-hand side again. Saka once again showing his absolute, like, I'd say 100 million worth, Martinelli left, best left winger in the league, right, best left winger in the league right now, and Go argue with your wall if you think against it, because he is. And in my opinion, who we got next? We've got Brighton away. And don't get me wrong, that's going to be an, a, an interesting game because Brighton away, a bit of a gimp towards us. But if we can continue like the performances we did, like today, for example, against them on the 31st, I believe it is, then, you know, the world's our oyster because then we, it's, we've got a, a rough t- couple games coming up as well. We've got Man City on the 15th of February, which I was obviously, we were speaking to our, our mate, who if everyone doesn't know, is Nick, who's a Man City fan. And obviously he was saying, if you're like, say, eight to ten points clear at that point and then you beat us, yeah, then the league's completely yours. So I was saying, um, we talked about this a few weeks ago, about how when Arsenal get one or two injuries, um, there was talk of, oh, they'll collapse. But remember, I think me and you Elliot said that when you have that winning mentality in a dressing room where it's like, it's almost like you know you're not going to lose regardless of what happens. Mm-hmm. Yep. If you go 1-0 down, that's what it's like with Arsenal right now, isn't it? With the fans, the players, the manager, the coaching staff. So you saw Eddie Nketiah came in and he scored. And yeah. I feel like that's just going to keep happening. You'll have that odd injury. The player will come in. It'll be like Leicester's season where they had a lot of players that won in that starting eleven that did brilliantly when they were, when they were needed. And it happens when you've got that energy around you. Um, the other thing was, I, I think if you beat Brighton and you beat Newcastle, which I'd be shocked if you It'll did, be very hard to do. Teams, yeah. If you do it, then I think you'll win the league. Because that, that to well, me is impossible. The thing is as well, I do I do want to put it out there because... That's a I know mental a lot, shot. That, yeah, but this, is, this, this is what I was going to bring up because Sorry. of like, people like Amir. Because I want to actually put in this, like, uh, put it in the air. When do Arsenal become the, in the conversation of title contenders? No, you are. Yeah, but no, but Amir doesn't think so. You get people on like TikTok who don't think so. they beat Man City. See? And Do you see what I mean? Apparently, in Amir's eyes, we're not quite title contenders, Amir. Uh, six Shibet. points what, against what, Brian what, and No, no, no. This is what I'm saying. We're seven contenders. points clear I think I'm, at the t- top no, of the no, league no, right no, now. No, the no, best no, start no. we've ever had. What are you at the minute? Five points? Five points at the minute? We're seven points clear at the moment, Dan. Seven, okay. Obviously, Man City play. Yeah, but okay, if they play tonight, then that means I uh, say they win tonight because they've got leads. You, you'd think they're going to win, and Haaland's going to score about eighteen goals in the first half. Still but... five points clear. Well, if we said it was seven, did you not? Yeah, but no, we're me, currently seven points clear. I need to see you guys beat. Well, then City. if they win it before, that, that's, that's Amir, I don't understand how different. you can be more convinced. We smack Liverpool. We smack you at your own home ground. We smack Spurs. Yeah, but I'm not convinced because he, yeah, but yeah, but it's not hard to beat us right now. What, so you're saying you're going to win the league then? Okay, that's your opinion. No, I'm I not. Guess, well, Amir, you're, 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 the for me, whole I'm... point is going whoosh over How? your head. Because I'm saying How is it we're title contenders. I'm, I'm not saying we're going you, out to win the league. I'm beat, saying we're contenders. Contender. Right, right contenders. Right now you are contenders. Yeah, you are. Understand well, the fucking well, word, well done, you idiot. Contenders. But who's really contenders? 
Why are you getting all upset for anyway? Because you don't understand don't know, the point. I'm, so, I'm not going much. out there and dropping the ball and saying, yes, we're, we're winning the league, that's it. I'm the one who said they can win the league. He yeah, didn't say it. Exactly. I never said we're going out and that's it. We're coming first. No I one else is coming against you're, us. You're I'm up saying there if you beat it's Man City. up there. there. You're up there if you beat Man City. Yeah, but why are we not up there now if, if we're up there at the moment? Tell me. Because I feel like... Because I don't, I, don't, I don't believe it yet. I'm sorry for not believing it. What do I do? I have to just succumb to the fact that Arsenal top. Same guy thinks Neymar's not top ten and... Brazilians of all time. So let's let's keep. Do you know um, what's, what's that? funny? Is if Arsenal the win the league, by the way, this guy's if, an idiot. He just changes the Arsenal, subject. He doesn't have anything this, to come back. If, to. If, <laughs> if, this, if this Arsenal team win the league, playing the football they have in these first few months, world. it's better than it's more enjoyable to watch than any Chelsea title winning team. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Like in, terms, in terms of just watching your opinion, it, though, it's you're not pure a football. Fan. Yeah, but, but I don't it's know why football. Chelsea are in this now. Like, it's actually fluid. Oh, it's not it's like easy. Arsenal, it's nice. Arsenal, 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 it's great. We can't have Elliot on it for an hour talking about Arsenal. <laughs> <laughs> if Arsenal win the league, I'm going for the parade. I, I don't really understand um, this whole. Um, this is just trying to convince me to believe in Arsenal. Like I don't believe it just yet. Like I'm not trying to convince you. I'm just I just don't understand why you don't. Hand on heart. Where do you think Arsenal is going to finish this season? He's telling you. Pardon? If you were to predict, where do you think Chelsea will finish this season? Sorry, not Chelsea. Arsenal. Arsenal. Yeah, you go. Second or third? Okay, so second place is not a title contender, no. Top four. Yeah, but Manchester United were top of the league as well, and ended up with like. I think fourth. I think top four, yeah. Top four still. I think top four. Do you think four, Chelsea yeah. will finish ahead of Arsenal? Of course not. That's a stupid thing to say. Oh, I thought you were going to say, of course. But you said fourth, fourth, so who else could, you know. I think Liverpool are going to come back into it, especially with Gakpo. Not everyone's disregarding them. They played well. I think United are on good form as well. I think Newcastle are playing fantastic as well. You still got to play Newcastle as well. Bright, Bright, so this still league could, Bright are still fifth, are they not? Right or not, there's so many good teams. Everyone Seven. just thinks that oh, Arsenal are going to stump everyone. No one's going to say it apart from me the fact that West Ham are a crap side right now, by the way, uh, who yep. I think will end up sacking their manager. I know I give Arsenal credit for showing resilience in the second half to come back, but West Ham are a crap side as well. But what I'm there's saying is, I don't understand why we can't get the credit we deserve at this moment in time when we, for you example, we credit. haven't, we haven't beat Liverpool in, in how long? Credit. In maybe four or five years? And we go win against them. Was it three one against against them, or was it two one? Whatever the score was, we win against them for the first time so in four or five years. So is it just a credit years. thing? So the issue is, and the then we smack thing, you at I'm Stamford not Bridge. As much credit. It is you smacked us. Okay, you beat us, but we're in a transitional period. If, if that's your level right now, a, a, a Europa League side, which Chelsea is right now, then I feel sorry for you. Ah, well, we still but considered both top six. I don't know six, why though. this whole credit thing is like is. We are still considered a big side, of course, but like it's always like you need to, you need to, you need credit all the time. No, we don't need credit at all. But I'm just, conf- I'm just baffled as to why you don't think we're. You just ask for credit. You just ask for credit because I still think there's other teams that just still haven't hit their form. Right, there's okay. still other big teams. We were at top of the league by December last season, and we ended up crumbling. So it's just for me right now. I'm not <laughs> fully convinced. The mic drop. I will we'll be, be if you sign a couple of players. What does that no, mean? But, if but, you sign a couple of players, you do good side again. You, you play well against Newcastle. Newcastle's a really big test for you guys. It's a really big test. They're a great team right now. If you beat them, you play well against City. Even if you lose, but you're still up there, then yeah. Then yeah, yeah Newcastle type contenders. What? They're up there. No one's. Everyone's a contender right now. Everyone around. Oh, so now team. everyone's. And now everyone's. Last everyone's, question. Now do everyone's. Do you think a Chelsea could finish ahead of Newcastle this season? <laughs> Probably where do you think I, I want to know where you'd point, finish because I'm sure up... in your predictions you put top four so where do you think you'll finish yeah but I did at the start of the season so it's completely unfair to, to think yeah. I think that now because we our manager got sacked really do you think you'll get top ten <laughs> well you're not specifying I don't know pissed. no that's fine no, no, I think no, it's a good time specific. to end it by the way it's a, it's a good time to end it it's a good no, time no where to do you think it. you're going to end give me a prediction I, I'm specifying top ten are you crazy okay go on then you're top seven league spot Nine? <laughs> uh, top seven then. He said Europa League spot, top seven. Well, Europa League, Europa League spot, still top ten. Five to seven, yeah. That would be Potter's like biggest achievement, getting a club to a Europa League spot so far That's in his career. huge. That would be his biggest achievement. Yeah, yeah it is, because it's his first time managing a big club. That's such a stupid thing. No, I'm just saying, like, back yeah, yeah. 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 And finished, and you sacked the manager who won the Champions League. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we did, yeah. <laughs> You're trying enough. to clown for no reason. <laughs> not really worse than you. No one's worse than you. He's just trying to clown Chelsea each week. Uh, okay, see how okay. it is. But, no, 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 no. no. We, we don't need to clown Chelsea. <laughs> you know, of course you don't. The biggest club in London. Yeah, yeah, you, 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 you clown 
end it. Pray for Reese James. Hope he has a great recovery. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, let's pray for Sancho. Let's pray for Gabriel Jesus and let's pray for Kamara and Jao Pedro as well. Let's end it there. Bye, everyone, for watching. Thank you very much. <laughs>